Yep. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll address it and I hope I answer it in a way that, that it does answer the question for you. Um, and I'll answer it in, in, in a raw form at this stage, you know. I'm, uh, like I have this mare to where I can push her in the bridle and, and, and collect, you know, gather her up. But I really haven't done much stopping. But in, in what you're saying when you stop that horse and they want to kind of be a little bit down in the shoulders, what I would do on that horse is I would trot that horse down a fence line and I would sit down and I would, and if I, I would, I would sit down with my, with my seat and I would just take one rein and I would change direction. And that horse would stumble around, probably wouldn't stop. And then I would trot back down that fence and I would do it again. And I'd trot back down that fence and I would do it again. Until I feel that horse think, God, this guy's crazy. Like, he just, this way and then this way and then this way. And pretty soon, every horse has, has got a different of ability. But, it, but no matter where that horse is, they, they're not silly. That, that horse will start to think, you know what, it is a lot easier for me to set my feet and, and I, he's pulled me that way all the time so I know I'm changing direction. So they will start to set their feet and if the stop is just the stop, then they don't have to think about anything else. It's just boom, 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 I'm stopped. So it becomes very simple for them. But if you keep that element of surprise, if you may, to where that horse is like, well, when I stop, I may be changing direction, you'll, they'll tend to keep those shoulders elevated. 